Kay. I'm a poet and a writer and on this channel I do reactions to K-pop videos, specifically lyric reactions and breakdowns. And today I've been doing spookier and spookier videos for my spooky spooky Halloween reactions month. But this one is less spooky and more like cute and fun. I've done a couple of those ones but I thought I really need to do this one as well. Um, there will be a bonus video that will be coming out on Halloween so look forward to that. Um, I feel like I need to start mentioning it now because people are gonna be like, where's the video you promised? That one's coming, but for today. We're gonna do one by a group who has been recommended to me but who I have not done at all yet. Partly because I just wasn't, they weren't really on my radar. They weren't really the type of K-pop I was into as much. But once I started looking into some other like cute Halloween videos, I kind of fell, fell a little head over heels for twice. This is TT, which is too cute, you guys, but also very much in the Halloween spirit. So let's jump on into it and enjoy it. Look at the lyrics together. Here we go. kids both have to knock like the little brother has to knock too it's important Plot twist. I call you baby. I think about you all the time like this, but I don't even know you. Okay, let's just go through the lyrics really quick. But they do make the cutest entrance of all time. I do think that is them being kind of silly in like serious situations is like the twice thing. It seems like it's very cute. I'm in two minds in an awkward situation. I just stare and say, ba 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 baby. Every day I only imagine. Without asking, I talk in a casual way and call your name. It's like having a crush on a celebrity. We don't even know each other. It's very much having a crush on a celebrity. <laughs> This is very cute. Okay, so basically I'm making up scenarios in my head. So I'm beautiful no matter what I wear. It's just the two of us in the mirror having a fashion show. It's like hanging out with your friends. You know, putting on, putting on, making up stories in your head, just having fun. This time for sure, I'll be the first to talk. Also, that is a very interesting cut on that dress. The little top part, very interesting. <laughs> Only in my head, always only in my head. All these like little horror movie moments or these dress up costume moments, but they're being so cute about it. Also, that part where they're like, why can't I have it my own way? Incredible vocals. I honestly, that drew me straight into this song. It's like, dang. So I start humming and then before I know it, I feel like crying. Just being emotional. Just being emotional, having a crush. I don't feel like myself. This is not like me at all. I love you so much. I think I'm all grown up now. I'm free to make my own choices, but why? Why can't I have it my way? That's so cute. It's such a like, you're definitely not grown up if you're asking that question, but also like exactly the kind of things that like young and in love person would ask, right? Very K-drama. The more I try to push you away, the more I'm drawn to you and attracted to you.
they really know how to like have the dance that's gonna be the dance of the season like they always have that little moment like I don't even know how like TT like this TT mm. <laughs> It's actually hard to do. I don't think I'm doing it right. I'm not doing it right. It's this way. Oh my gosh. That's hard to do actually. And they make it look so like perfect and cute because they're phenom phenomenal dancers. But they always have that like moment that's like super cute. Like the kind of thing that you like want to learn and that you would do. So the song becomes memorable because of that. But TT like a crying face, crying emoji face. I can only assume. I don't know what else it would be. This is so much about being like a preteen girl. So much. You say I'm ridiculous that I don't live up to my look. Doesn't cheer me up at all. So about being a preteen girl. I'm going crazy and she's having an ice cream like really, <laughs> I don't know, like, the ice cream is pretty funny. In all this mess, why do I feel hungry? I eat all day and I'm still hungry. That is what growing up is all about. Being a teenager or preteen, that is, that is it right there in a, a sound bite. I eat all day and I'm still hungry. Hungry for everything. Slap 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 the innocent doll. Like I'm taking this out on somebody else. I sit down and lie down all day and time flies flies flies. This bunny costume? Way too cute. Way too cute. Oh my god. What's with the dull skin again? Just wanting to I uh, keep wanting to just complain. Mom keeps bothering me. Why, why, why? So oh much. This is genuinely the cute. This is, should be illegal. It's so cute. Like, it just, ah. Uh, oh my god, she's adorable. Everyone has like their thing. They are their character that they're being. And some of them are like, I'm a little bit on the, the haunted enchantress side. Some of them are like, like being a pirate. Then you've got the bunny girl being the cutest thing of all time. They all have like a character that they're being in this, a costume. Like they're not being multiple things. They've all got their look. And in a large girl group like this, this is one of their earlier songs. This, this isn't super new, is it? Yeah, this is from 2016. So this is one of their earlier times when people were still having to get to know them, almost the way you'd get to know anime characters. So you kind of have to have a persona and stick to the persona in order to stand out in a large group like this, where everyone's beautiful, everyone's cute, everyone's talented. You've got to have your thing. And so it, it's cute that they're doing that almost on a microcosm level where they're like, this is my my look and my character for this one. And they, they have the same one all the way through each of them. It seems like, if that's not true, it seems like there are like one or two characters at the most because it keeps coming back to the same girls as the same characters. For the ones that I recognize, I realize it's a large group and I don't know twice well. I think it's interesting and it also helps to then solidify them in your head. So when you see them in another video, you're like, oh, that's the one who played Batgirl. And then you start to remember them better that way. And it, it is a great tactic for getting to stand out in a large group like this.
I didn't want to interrupt the chorus because it's so cute, but that moment where like the mirror is shattered and the devil is gone from them, you're just like, oh, they got out! What's coming next? I don't know what song came after this. Was there a sequel? Was this like a, a bunch of little videos together? Or was it just this one? Um, I know that they have a couple other ones that have kind of Halloween themes. There's so many to get to. I'll probably just keep doing this every year as long as I feel like doing this because it's a lot of fun. So that was twice. Very talented group of girls. I just really wasn't, they weren't really on my radar. I'm not seeking out the large girl groups because that wasn't the kind of music I was interested in. It sort of took, it took looking into videos like this where I was like, wait a second, Twice are so cute in a way that like I really enjoy. Let me know what you think. Let me know, let me know especially if this is part of some kind of a storyline because I love me a music video storyline for seriously. Check out my other Halloween themed videos videos. I uh, did Married to the Music is probably the most similar to this one where it's just like cute and fun and happens to have a Halloween-y vibe going on. And I will talk to you very soon. I post videos on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays and I'll see you again soon. Bye!